show you my uh, chicken bait that I use. You can see the crumbs coming off it. Completely infused with the burley mix. Putting it onto a 1-0 uh, a long shank mustard. This is quite a small bait, this one. Normally it's a little bit bigger than this one. But uh, basically just wind it on to the shank. And that's it. It's simple as that. That's a better fish. No. And grim. You can see the creases in the back there on the shell. So you put your hook in one side and out the other side on the back on the hard shell. And that holds them on the hook and keeps them alive. You just belted it. Either that or it's a brim that was really hungry. Grim. <laughs> As you can see there in the top left corner, I've got a map of the area that I'm fishing. It's uh, it's about the right tide to, to, for that map. Be fairly accurate too. We're having a sensational year on brim this year. I'll just run run you through the area and the gear. As you can see there in the background there's a bridge um, onto the uh, the west of that bridge fishing in Hayes Inlet. And uh, the gear I'm using it's a nine foot rod I made myself, so there's no brand on it. Bought the bits from uh, John Pope down at Scarborough. Uh, sensational rod I use this for all my brim flathead and and whiting fishing using a, uh, a 4000 Stratic with uh, nine, oh, that's got nine pound moi moi line on it. The baits aren't so big, I was mostly chasing a feed, but I use a sinker straight on top of the hook with brim and a four pound leader.